on a back door cut by Latruba on way outside, and he's got it. Force it in is Dwayne. Nice pass inside here. Murphy drives, scores, and is fouled. Miller with a strong rebound. Baseline, Cradle with the foot back. Peterson on the drive and oh. score. And Pepton splits the defense. We're at Sheboygan South High School where the Red Wings are getting ready to take on the Manitowoc Ships. My name is Mike Martin. Joining me is a former head basketball coach for 17 years here at uh, Sheboygan South, John Schumann. John, thanks a lot for stepping in tonight. Well, thanks for having me. It's been, been quite a while since I've been on this court, and uh, I think I'll enjoy it. You've had a lot of great teams through the years. Uh, who are some of the players that uh, you remember playing with or having as uh, you know on your team? and even competitors. Oh, we had a lot of nice kids. Uh, the only thing that I'll say is we didn't have a lot of tall ones. So it was always a kind of a fight to do something, but we had the Zastros and we had uh, quite a few other kids at uh, Tetchlogs and Noldens and Barrises that, uh, and I even had uh, little Shebley who uh, still is around town working and and we had, oh, my son Jeff played for me two years, and we had really a fine, fine two years with when he played. And, and uh, oh, we had a lot of nice kids that uh, were here and played. Let's talk a little bit about uh, this year's South team. They come in tonight with a 5-2 and two record in conference, 9-5 and five overall, and uh, they've uh, beat expectations by a lot in terms of conference uh, play. Yeah, I guess they were picked down in, uh, somewhere down near the middle, but... Uh, from what I've seen, I've seen one one ball game or so, and I think they're improved a lot from watching them on TV once in a while. And uh, I think they're going to be nice. They got a, uh, they could use a little more height, but other than that, they got the quickness and they got the shooters. And and I think uh, coach has done a nice job with them this year. It certainly helps to have Stuby come back from that football injury. He adds that quickness you talked about. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Uh, sometimes a kid that's hurt and he gets hurt early in the year. He gets set back a little bit, but apparently he's done a good, good job. I had a chance to talk with Dan Koopman prior to the game, and he said that exact same thing, that uh, he's working at one speed, and the kids are working at another speed, You know, and they're still trying to gel a little bit. One of the things he also said is they're starting to get an identity. They know who their scorers are. Who can we look at tonight from solid to uh, provide some punch? Well, a lot's going to depend upon what kind of defense is put up. Uh, that, that pretty well determines who's going to get the shots. And depending upon how Mark Christensen handles the defense, if he puts somebody on Phelan for the outside shot or or uh, puts most of his emphasis inside, I don't, you know, that's going to be determined pretty much what Mark wants to do. So then they'll have to go from there. Well, we're going to find out what the teams will do offensively and defensively when we come back. So stay tuned. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. The best investment we can make is the investment of time in the lives of children. Children who will become tomorrow's leaders. That's why 4-H is so important. It's so rewarding to know that you're influencing or helping or developing other people. Kids are the future, and if we can raise better human beings, then tomorrow's world will be better. Discover the world together. Be a 4-H volunteer. To find out how, contact your local extension office. Have you saved a life today? I took two flood victims to a shelter. I donated a day's pay to help a family that lost everything in a fire. Have you saved a life today? I teach a class in infant CPR. I donated a pint of blood. Have you saved a life today? No, but today somebody saved mine. 
the American Red Cross. Together, we can save a life. Every day, Good night, Russ. more tax professionals are embracing IRS e-file. So instead of printing your income tax returns, they're sending them electronically. Take it easy, Russ. E-file is accurate, secure, Good night, Russ. and faster than paper. Which means you get your refund back in half the time. Russ, don't work all night. So insist that your tax professional use IRS e-file. Happy anniversary, Russ. And please, help Russ get home to his wife. We're back at South High. They're introducing the uh, starting lineup for Sheboygan South. So I will also, starting for the Red Wings, will be number three, Tim Stubbe a 5'8 sophomore. Number five, Josh Zastro, he's a 6'1 senior. Number 25, Jake Wilson, a 5'10 senior. Number 31, Nick Phelan, a 5'10 senior. And rounding out the starting lineup is number 43, Scott Murphy, a 6'5 junior. For the visiting Manitowoc ships, number 11, Eric Migau is a 6'1 junior. Number 20, Curtis Hall is a 6'1 senior. Number 22, Aaron Jeske, a 6'3 junior. Number 24, Ben Cray, a 6'3 senior. And rounding out their starting lineup is number 33, Vladimir Vlasky, a 6'6 junior. Our officials tonight are Dave Gray, he'll be tossing the ball, and Jeff Fauski. Both of those gentlemen are from Oshkosh. You're right, South is quite short, John. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of 5.10s and 5.8s in there. Yeah, well, I hope that they're quicker. That's, that's the big thing right now. <laughs> it's okay to be shorter as yeah. long as you're quicker. Yeah, it helps. A little, little zone the way it looks. Stubby has it on top. South controlled the tip. Murphy stationed at the high post. Well, this is a good move early in the game. Get get them to uh, get have men and walk play a little bit uh, slower to tire them out a little bit. Good pass by Stubbe into uh, Scott Murphy, and he's fouled. Foul goes on Ben Cray. That'll be his first. And Murphy will be going to the line shooting free throws. <laughs> South had pretty good movement on that last possession and the penetration by Stubbe created a nice situation. They went a long time on offense and that makes Mandelwalk working pretty hard so Tire him out early. Well, Murphy uh, goes 0 for 2. Still no score. We're just underway here at South High. Jeske had a shot blocked by Fail and he got the rebound, but when he came down, he was on the line. South has it back. Stubby picks up a screen from Murphy for the long shot. His Three-point attempt is no good. Zastro from outside the line. His shot is no good. Manitowoc comes away with it. Starting the second round of conference play tonight, we mentioned South comes in 5-2. and two. They defeated Manitowoc up at Manitowoc first game of the season. Blasky with a two-pointer. Haven't had a chance to see much of Manwalk's offense yet, but usually he runs a high-low pretty well. Blasky picks up the foul. Murphy trying to muscle his way in. That's the right guy to foul early. Yeah. Murphy going to the line for his second time. He's 0 for 2. He's off to Schneid. Got that one to go. Two to one Manitowoc. We're at the 619 mark. Oh, 
And he nets them both. We're tied. Miguel has it for Manitowoc. Stubbe looked like he saved it in bounds, but uh, official Dave Gray is saying he touched the line, so Manitowoc will get it back. Stubbe is very quick. Oh, yeah. From this perception, you, you see an awful lot of the difference in size. Yeah. <laughs> We're at floor level. Jeske has it on top. Blasky from outside, no good. Murphy nice with a board. strong, yeah, not good strong rebound. South trying to run the break. Ooh, mm. Zastro shot looked like it was looked like it was fouled. No call. I'd say it was pretty close to that. <laughs> yeah. And then Zastro picks up a foul. Well, South got it out and uh, did run the break, but uh, came up empty. Murphy should have taken that shot. You know, we were talking before we came on the air when you had mentioned about a number of the fine players you had. And yeah. uh, one name that escaped you was uh, John Kabelski. Yeah, right. He was a good shot. Yeah, very good shooter. He lived in Hawaii for a while, I think. <laughs> he lived right next door, and I think he spent most of his time at the Y. He did graduate high school, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> South with a miss, Murphy with a rebound. Very low scoring affair. Murphy on a good pump nice fake. Move. Right down the lane for an easy two. Nice move. I think I think 33, I think uh, he got that first foul. I think he's a little bit tentative now. Be yep. a good chance to go right at him. Blasky knows if he gets a second foul, uh, Mark Christensen will probably take him out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Miguel came out and received the pass, but uh, Wilson was hanging on to him and commits the foul. For Jake, that's his first foul. You get a good shot at Dan Koopman. That used to be you for a long time, John. Yeah, the hot seat. Oh, Miguel off the glass and gets it to go. You got to remember, years ago we couldn't leave that spot either. We had a seatbelt. That's sit right. There. Yeah, <laughs> seatbelt rule. Yeah. Well, Miguel made the basket, John, but they're not giving it to him. Apparently, he was fouled prior to yeah. the shot. A break for South. Yeah, that's a big break. There you get a good shot of Mark Christensen with the program in his hand. Good defense by Murphy, knocking it away from Vlasky. Phelan has it. Looks like they switched. No, they're still. Yeah, they yeah. It's hard to tell just now. Yeah, they're, they're playing man now. Mark will switch up quite often, I'm sure. Murphy has it stripped away from him. Migal taking it right down the lane and lays it up and in. Eric Migal for two. We're all tied up at four. When you switch defenses, it really makes the offense have to think Ooh, and react. Good drive. Stubbe had his shot blocked out of bounds by Curtis Hall. And uh, you had mentioned before that uh, Hall had some brothers that played. Yeah, I think a couple of years ago they were, they were pretty strong. All played guard, I think. Right, I remember that. Murphy's shot was no good. Miguel forcing the shot up, it's no good. And Zastro tipped it out of bounds. Looked like it could have gone off Jeske, but the official says no. Manitowoc will get it. We're at 3.37 of the first quarter, all tied up at four. A very low scoring game so far. Murphy again trying to tip it away, but missed it. Vlasky got it for the easy two. Mark likes, to, likes those center right there on that uh, free throw line. And he likes to go high low quite a bit. And they get some picks in there. They got some nice shots. One thing that uh, might be hurting Manitowoc this year is they got Vlasky at 6'6", but they don't have a real big kid to put underneath the basket. Yeah. 
Lasky playing the good defense, didn't fall. Yep. And uh, Ryan Lubach was not able to get the rebound. Velasky did. So Manitowoc has the possession and the lead. Miguel has it in the corner, trying to look inside the hall. Stubbe playing tough defense. A little double team help from Murphy. <laughs> Hard to shoot no. those shots over guys that are six inches taller than you. Ooh. Nice pass by Stubbe into Lubach. His shot is no good. He was fouled. I think that's going to go on Curtis Hall. It is. It's a third team foul on Manitowoc. And you get a good shot of Ryan Lubach. He's got a chance to tie up this ball game. Admir Izmitovic checks in along with Anthony Vaughns for South. For Manitowoc, Houston Sprang, number four, and Steve Glazier, number 15, check in. As Lubach misses the second free throw, we're at six to five, Manitowoc. Admir does a good job coming off the bench, coach. Oh yeah, he looked good in that North-South game. Did a nice job. We had uh, a South game here where he played a big role. Miguel's shot is off, no good, and then it's tipped out of bounds. That was uh, when Green Bay West came here and uh, Murphy got in early foul trouble. Admir came in off the bench, had eight points, and uh, was just what South needed, a uh, you know, big presence underneath the basket. Yeah, he's got enough size in there and enough bulk to help. A foul is going to go on Steve Glazer. A 158 left of the first quarter. It's only six to five. Manitowoc on top. You're gonna see Phelan with it being guarded by Glazer. Phelan pushing it down hard, got the shot off and has fouled. That's his first shot attempt, coach. Yeah. Well, they're on him pretty tight there. They're making even when they were in the zone, they were they were jumping out there at those kids pretty hard. I thought that's what North did well in terms of guarding. They had the bigger wainer on uh, Nick and it made, him real hard, made it real hard for him to get shots off. Yeah, Glazer's, Glazer's a, a little bit bigger and he gets those arms spread out. It, it gets tough to go around. He may not be as quick, but, but he's got those, those arms going outside and it's, when you go around, you gotta go a long ways. Nick Phelan put the two free throws in and South is back on top, seven to six. 145 remaining. Migo at the controls, gets it inside the Velasky. Shot is no good and Lubach with the rebound. Be quick around the defense, lays it up and in. Good drive. Well, he's lightning quick. Yeah. Migo trying to take it down low. He's fouled. Right now, he's a lot of their ball club. He's, he's kind of done most of it so far, pushing the ball up. That foul goes on Ryan Lubach. His first and the fourth team foul for South High. Yeah, I do see a little bit of more uh, size on the uh, south side now, as long as he put the, pull the big kids out. Well, pass inside is picked off by Lubach. Yeah, Vaughn's is a pretty tall kid, John. Yeah. He goes 6'2". Yeah. I'd say we have a little height advantage now, right now. But it helps to have Vlasky out for Manitowoc. He's uh, listed as 6'6". I don't yeah. think he's quite that tall. Stubbe from downtown. All Got right. it. A three-pointer. 12 to 6. Just like that. Yeah. South up 12 to 6 with 34 seconds left. Miguel pushing it hard to the hoop. He's fouled. 
And Rock doesn't seem to be running the offense that they used to run the last couple of years. They used to run uh, pretty much with a high-low post. And, but I don't see that big boy coming up to the free throw line very often. No, it looks like they're depending a lot on the guard play. Oh, they sure are. Lubach committed the foul. Eric Migal is at the line. Nick Phelan coming back in. And Jeske is coming back in for Manitowoc. Adam Koenig's also checked in for South. I like Redmond better. <laughs> How about you? You guy gets used to it. <laughs> it's pretty hard to hard to change. You know, I did the same kind of thing over at my grade school, Holy Name. We used to be the Skyliners when I was there. Oh, now really? they're yeah, now they're the Eagles. <laughs> Man, I thought Skyliners much nicer. Yeah. They even changed the name of the school. Yeah. It's Holy Family now. Yeah. Well, South running it down for one shot. We're at 12 seconds remaining of the first quarter. Red Wings on top, 12 to 8. Subi directing traffic. Clear it out. Inside the line, his shot is no good. And at the end of one, South on top, 12 to 8. That was a good quarter. They didn't put the ball in the hole that much, but uh, actually, South held their own pretty well. Yeah. You have to know where every creek is in the floor for no other reason but fear. If she hears you, sees you, then everyone suffers. Where have you been? If someone's drinking is affecting you, it's affecting your loved ones too. Don't let the drinking ruin everyone else's life. Call 888-4-ALANON. To help them, you have to help yourself first. Having twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? There you see the South High Red Wing. We're back at Sheboygan South where we're getting ready to start second quarter action. The Red Wings on top, 12 to eight. Mike Martin along with uh, John Schumann. And uh, South ran their patterns pretty good, John. Yeah, I think they control the ball well. They made, they made men to walk move and, and keep them going. As long as they know, can't make mistakes on defense when you're standing still. Jeske made that opening shot for Manitowoc, and then Wilson tripped on his way down the lane. And there was a tie-up for the ball. South will have the possession. There you see Nick Phelan. He'll trigger the in now Stubby will trigger the inbounds. A uh, couple of shot uh, shots missed by uh, Murphy in that first quarter could have helped the cause. Quite yeah, a bit. He, yeah. Get some good looks. Had that fall on. And Velasky too. Uh, here's maybe another one. Yeah. Another three-pointer for Tim Stubbe. He now has eight points. And he's feeling it. He looked real smooth on that last yeah. jump shot. Oh, be careful. Coach Dan Koopman saying that ball tipped off of uh, Eric Migau's leg. And he's pleading with uh, <laughs> Dave Gray, the other official, but he's saying, eh, I don't think so. That's that's to be on. Flasky's back in. Stubby on McGall now. Not only quick off the dribble, but very quick hands too. It well, seems to be. And keep him busy. Yeah. Shot is no yeah. good, but uh, Vlasky got the rebound, put it up and in, and he's fouled. He's a force inside. Fall goes on Josh Zastro. He's only a junior, too.
Table wanted to confirm who the foul was on, and it is on Josh Zastro. Vlasky's free throw is up and in, and all of a sudden the score is 15-13. South on top by only two. Manitowoc hanging around. Well, maybe Stubbe trying to do a little too much. Phelan almost had it taken away. Wilson going hard to the basket, lays it underneath. Oh, Disastro yeah. for an easy two. Good teamwork there. That yeah, was a tough two to take. He was kind of behind the bucket there. He had to come around and made a nice basket on that one. And a little dipsy doodle. Curtis Hall rolling off the screen but couldn't get the shot off. Wilson got on him pretty quick. Hall well, hasn't done much so far. But... Miguel setting up the offense again. I think he was setting up the offense for himself. Well, I, yeah, I was going to say, <coughs> Manowak is doing something that uh, doesn't seem realistic for them. Murphy got the rebound and South has the ball and the lead. Phelan's bank is off no good. Tried to kiss it off the glass. Had a good open shot. Curtis Hall gets it inside to Velasky. He didn't have a shot. Murphy playing good defense on him. Well, there they come. There they come. There. That's it. That's the kind of offense they normally run and bring that big kid up the top. Looked like he picked up a down screen and flashed yeah. up to the free throw line but yeah. couldn't get the open jump shot to go. Phelan pushing it in hard and then kicks it out to Stubbe. A little contact under there right now. Yeah, Jeske <laughs> got the better of it with Phelan that time. Not only knocked him down but got the rebound. 17 to 13, 450 remaining until half. South on top, 17 to 13. Oh, now they're running pretty well their pattern. Oh, they opened it up a little yeah. bit and got Jeske. <laughs> Open, but Phelan was pretty quick knocking the ball away. Lubach for South and Lodl for Manitowoc check in. Ball being guarded closely by uh, Wilson and the Manitowoc lost the ball. Phelan hit hard and goes down hard. A 30 second timeout by Manitowoc. Who, who did he give that to? Uh, 30 or 33. They'll flash it up on the board. I'm not sure right now, but. Uh, I think he well, kind of guessed on that one. He definitely, Nick Phelan definitely got hit. And yeah. uh, he hit the floor even harder. Yeah. At 30 is the kid that hit him. Of course, we can, we can see it right here. Right. Well, they, they gave Velasquez the fall, and that's good if you're a South fan, because that gives uh, <laughs> that's right. Vlad Vladimir two falls here in the first half. And uh, to see if uh, Coach Christensen leaves them in the game. Yeah. What do you think uh, Dan is telling the troops right now? Oh, I keep going after him. Keep keep boarding. They got to keep boarding down at that other end. They, they can handle the board down at that other end. They're gonna. It's gonna be a big help to them. I think we are seeing. Uh, is they're getting shots down here? They've had some nice shots. Seems like they are a little quicker than uh, yeah. Manitowoc. Yeah. McPhailin was two for two in the first quarter. You'll have, they're not giving up free throws? Holy cow. Well, Dan Koopman's up off the bench and saying, why isn't he shooting? And we're thinking the same thing. They gotta give him two, John. I already got the circles written on the score sheet. I would think so. Now, uh, in a case like that, wouldn't you want to get your best free throw shooter on the line? I mean, uh, you don't remember who got fouled. 
Well, I feel I'm good, Paul. I remember that. <laughs> well, we both know that. Yeah. Think the officials remember that? Of course, Nick is probably the best free throw shooter yeah, out there. I think so. He deserves to because he got he got fouled, there's no doubt about it, but I'm not sure the right guy got the foul. Phelan knocks them both. Our advantage. Yeah. Phelan knocked them both down. It's 19 to 13. Murphy got a hand on it and then took it away. Well, you could see you could see Vlasky go right away from Phelan. He yeah. didn't want that third foul. No. He's gonna play it pretty intimidated now. You can go to him a couple times. And if Misovic picks up the foul, that's his first. And that'll put Manitowoc at the line shooting. And you think the officials know who got fouled? I think so. When it comes down to it, they do a pretty good job. Oh, yeah. yeah. They don't have long to make a decision. Not as long Not as we as do. We do. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they don't have a monitor to look at either. That's right. Lasky makes the first. He now has six points here in the first half. There you got a shot of Christensen by the table. And uh, you spent your entire career with the seatbelt rule, right? Uh, no, the seatbelt came in, well, most of your career uh, at I South, had, huh? Yeah, yeah, most of it at South, yeah. But before that, they could get up and whatnot. The seatbelt rule was a rule where coaches could not get off the bench to uh, communicate with their players or the officials. Uh, that has now changed. Oh, uh, Curtis. Phelan jumped on the back of Hall. But, or pardon me, Lodl, but it was Hall who actually did the shuffle step out on the floor and the referees didn't call the travel. I remember when uh, Bill Richards first came to town, they were actually had part of the article was he, he was up and down so much. You get like 30 or 40 times a game <laughs> up and down. Yeah. That's I how that, I think that's how he got his nickname, Wild Bill. I think that seatbelt rule was all right. I know when you're a coach, you basically basically want to just sit there and so that you you're not part of the ball game, just that you're doing your job and it's it's a kid's game anyway. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. It's about the kids. But I just knew one thing that when Farmline came into this gym. I had to get up every once in a while because that to defend yourself. <laughs> you know, finally I had three schools feeding one, you know. Yeah. Three junior highs feeding one. So they always had a powerhouse years ago. Well, they still do. Sure. They're ranked in the state yeah. right now. Yeah. I think they're going to get uh, Murphy with an illegal screen. We're at 19 to 17, 328 remaining until half. South on top. Murphy picks up the screening fall. That's his first. And Manitowoc with an excellent opportunity to yeah, tie up the ball game at the free throw line. Slow but sure they're coming in. Eric Migal had four points in the first quarter, two of them coming from the line. He'll get two more chances here. And uh, South uh, in that North-South game was dynamite in the armory in that second quarter. Yeah. I think they made something like 17 out of 19 free throws. Got themselves right back into contention. Oh, Adamar, I think, made six in a row, didn't he, or something like that? I, I think I have my score sheet in the... Yeah, pretty close to that, but, yeah. Yeah, he made a lot of them. We're all tied up at 19, 320 left till half. They're trying to put a lot of pressure outside to hold the three point now. Murphy working Good hard move. inside and he got it in and he's fouled. They got a mismatch there. Foul goes on Brian Lodl.
Well, that was a nice, strong move, Coach. Yeah, nice feed. It's nice when you can hit that big man when he's got a mismatch in there. you got to hit him. And it was a nice feed to him. Three-point play the hard way it gives South a 22 to 19 advantage. Jeske has it on top. Miguel trying to post up Stubby inside. Hard down the lane was Brian Lodel and he's followed by Nick Phelan. He's using, Manowak's using a few juniors now every now and then he's substituted quite a bit. For Phelan that was his second foul. <laughs> Lodl's three for three from the line. And double bonus time for Manitowoc. Yeah, you think for a minute they're going to be gone and get behind, and all of a sudden they're right there again. Now they're one down. Stuby has it, and South calls a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. Uh, what does South need to do? Well, I I kind of like to see him hit that hit that post when they get that uh, big kid out of there. Hit the post, let Murphy take in a couple. Because once you go inside, then that opens up the outside. Right now they're putting a lot of pressure on the outside. And Coach Christensen, he's starting to run his pattern down there a little bit, bringing that bringing that big big kid or whoever he's got on the bottom. Of course, he just doesn't have as many big kids as he used to. But he's bringing that kid from the bottom, and when they come up to the free throw line, uh, they get a nice screen in there. They're usually open. Manitowoc used to be a little bit like uh, Oosberg. They had that tainted water. <laughs> Kept getting all those big guys. Yeah, I know. There you get a good shot of Tim Stuby. Little roughing it up with Murphy inside. Vaughn's is in you the got game. a mismatch. There you go. Okay. There he is. Put it up. There you are. Well, Murphy playing real tough inside. Good call, Coach. Yeah, I got to go inside right now. Well, Velasquez out of the game. Hey. And I think what happened was Jeske was out of bounds and came back in and caught it. And Notice the South High got the. I always get one call every game where they seem to run out of bounds because there's Is that a moving line. Well, you know? <laughs> well there's, there's no room back there and that wall's quite a ways away. And I think the depth perception, you know, it's 24 21 south on top. We're at uh, 206 remaining until half. Hit him. Put it up. Nice. Uh, Wilson on a back cut. Got it from Murphy for an easy two. Everything revolves around that center. Now they got the last, the last three buckets they got were right down in there. He had a nice, Murphy had a nice feed. Murphy having a real fine first half. Oh, Jeske slid his foot. Murphy played pretty good defense on the baseline, Coach. Of course, yeah. that turnover. Twenty six twenty five south on top. And I think they're setting up a zone. Yeah. They want to help inside. That's a good. Whoa. Good catch by Stuby. Murphy outside to Vaughn's. Pango. Right. Three pointer. Anthony Vaughn's another assist for uh, Scott Murphy. That'd be a good time to hold him here. 29 21 south on top. Oh. If that foul goes on Scott Murphy, that'll be his second. And I think it is. Well, what do you do now, John? You you leave your big center in there. Or do you yeah, he's get got a minute left. I don't know. We've done well with him in there. <laughs> he's for, coming out now. For Brian Lodel, that was his first miss. He was uh, four for four up to that point. How they can hold this lead? Travis Young is seeing his first action, number 33, and 
Admir Ibmisovic checks in for Murphy. If they can hold a seven point lead to the half, that's a good, good, good point spread to go in with. 29 22, we're at 101 of the first half. Well, they switch, switch back now to playing man again. Well, Stuby had a little bit of an opening, but he didn't take the shot. We're down to 40 seconds. Cross quarter to Lubach, his jump shot in the lane is off, no good, and then Vaughn's in an effort to try and get the rebound, hits it out of bounds. Miguel at the controls being guarded by Stubbe. I wonder if Manitowoc will probably take it all the way down. Jeske had it. Derek Kane, number 40, is in for his first action. We had a whistle out on the court. You notice that Miguel's been kind of quiet this quarter. Yeah. You know, Stubby's quick enough to keep him awfully busy. So every time he moves, I suppose, you know, he gets rid of the ball because Stubby's right there, but he may post him after a while underneath. They tried to do that a little bit before. Yeah. Derek Kane uh, committed that foul, and that's going to send south down here for a bonus free throw attempt at the line is uh, Ryan Lubach. He was one for two in the first quarter. Needs to get this one to get the next one. Soft no good. We're down to 12 seconds and counting. Migal taking his time. Bet he's going to go one on one. I was going to say they're going to clear out. Oh he lost the dribble now. Huh? <laughs> and a double dribble. They're keeping pretty good pressure on him. That makes a lot of difference, you know. Koenig and Alan Conrad both come in. Kuzmitovic and Lubach check out. Long shot by Stubbe is way off, and we're at halftime, and South was able to maintain that seven-point yeah. advantage, John, 29-22. Well, Al, Al McGuire always used to say that he never wanted to go in at the half more than eight points ahead. <laughs> Unless you're really blowing out the other team. Well, well, yeah. But he says that was always good. It keeps your kids, keeps your kids uh, alert. We got a seven-point spread, so maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it is. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll have uh, halftime action. An adult gives up on our kids. Every time we surrender to the belief that their future is out of our hands, another child is left behind. I'm General Colin Powell, and I don't believe in giving up. That's why I'm asking you to join America's Promise. Log on to americaspromise.org or give us a call. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you can do something important. Pull your weight. When you buy disposable and overpackaged products for your home, you're really saying, hmm, I'm fine with depleting natural resources. Pollute our air and water. Energy, wasted. People tell you, hey, go for less packaging. Check out reusables. Buy stuff in bulk. Well, you tell them, no thanks. I'd rather throw it all away. Buy smart, waste less, save more.
of species on Earth today, many of them endangered. Please help them while there's still time to help. For more information, contact Defenders of Wildlife at defenders.org. The digital divide is the distance we allow between those who have the power of information and those who don't. In AmeriCorps, we're working to bridge that gap so that all of us can get to a better place. We're going around the world, on the web. In AmeriCorps, it's not can you make a difference, it's where. It's your world. It's your chance to make it better. My name is Maya, and my cat's name is Millie, and this is Millie. I love Millie. Where did you get Millie? On the shelter. Next time, I'm going to get a dog. So my dog's name is going to be Snowball. Where are you going to get Snowball? Um, at the shelter. They take very good care of animals at the shelter. Wings lead at 29 to 22. Let's go through some of the scoring real quick. Leading Manitowoc was Vladimir Vlasky with nine points. Eric Migau chipped in with six. Brian Lodel had five out of six free throws for five points. And Aaron Jeske had two. Uh, one of the reasons why Manitowoc has hung around as long as they did, they made 12 out of 13 free throws in the first half, John. For South, a lot of contributions. Tim Stubbe had eight. Murphy led all scorers from South with nine. Nick Phelan, four. Wilson with two. Ryan Lubach, one. Anthony Vaughn's hit a big three-pointer near the end of the half, and Josh Zastro had two. And uh, I liked your comments about uh, Al McGuire, and uh, you know you don't want to have too big of a lead at halftime. Well, they get too complacent. This way, you're still in the ball game, and you got to take over right now from where you started. Zero-zero ball game, I guess. Well, I remember that one uh, Packer game when they're in. Uh, in uh, it was the Bart Starr coaching years, and they got just blasted in the first half. And he said, "We're going to play the second half like it's 0 0 and they right. wound up winning the second half and only lost by 20. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not in that boat tonight. Oh, I think it'll be interesting. I think it'll be interesting from now on. Oop! The lights just went out at the table, and now they're back on. <laughs> Cray triggers the inbound pass to Migo. He's still being guarded by Tim Stubbe. Zastro, oh, it looked like he made a good steal, but he's gonna get called for the foul. Six seconds into the second half. And for Zastro, I got that as being his third foul, and it is. Ball has it being guarded by Jake Wilson. Open 18 footer is no good. Stubie. Nice board. Yeah, he got up there for a little guy. Inside, they're going inside to Murphy again. They're doing a nice job of getting that ball down court and making the man walk really get down in a hurry. Tire those big guys. Blasky's back in. As a matter of fact, the same starting lineups for both squads are on the floor. Paul Cray, Jeske. Lasky and Migal for Manitowoc. It's Stuby, Phelan, Zastro, Wilson, and Murphy for South. Migal spins out of the double team, goes right down the lane. His layup is no good. Lasky able to get the rebound. Oh, almost looking at a three point play there. No foul call on Wilson. Jeske got the layup. Well, we had a good good line of sight for that uh, contact yeah. on the layup shot. There. Stuby from way downtown got another one to go. That's his third three-pointer, and he leads all scorers with 11. And South's lead is up to eight, and I believe, Coach, that's the largest lead of the night, 32 to 24. They had that just before the half, and now they've got it again. Uh, 
they can hold that, they'll be all right. That foul goes on Tim Stuby. That's his first. The second team foul for the Red Wings. You notice that all of a sudden Magal is kind of taking over the first couple of minutes here. Whereas he was kind of silent the second quarter. Uh, what would you attribute that to? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he was resting in the second quarter. Huh? Yeah. Got that halftime rest. He's got uh, yeah. fresh legs. Chesky with an open 12 footer is no Ooh. good. Murphy Sip. is able to track down the rebound. Mm. A lot of action right in front of us. Murphy with a pump fake, a good cover up defense by well, Manitou. He's almost going to do <laughs> He wanted to take it to the hoop. <laughs> he was open too. <laughs> Inside to Wilson. His shot is blocked by Vlasky. And his shot is blocked again. And Manitou comes away with it. No, well, he wouldn't give it up. Migal gets loose in the lane and puts it up and in. Now, there's a case when you get that offensive rebound, you might be best just to take it back we're gonna up. Have to, we're going to have to watch him because he's going he's gonna to go to that board quite a bit. Murphy working on Vlasky. Can't get it in. Failing wide open from about 22 feet. I think that's his first up. long shot. Right, I do too. He hasn't had many of those, no. that's for sure. There he goes. Migo with a step through, put it up and in, and uh, he's looking like an all-conference player here in the first two yeah. and a half minutes. See, he's, the first quarter, he missed a few of these. Now he's hit two in a row, so. Yeah, 30-second timeout, so we better keep it here, Kerry. Uh, you're right, he really has started yeah. to take over. Yeah. That's Eric Migal. For Migal, he had six in the first quarter, first half, pardon me. Two more baskets in the third. He now has 10 points. And uh, to go along with Jeske's two, Manitowoc has closed the gap from eight down to four. Now look at this official walking toward us. Doesn't he look a little bit like Jim Kerwin? Yeah. <laughs> Could be. Oh, super sub. Saw Jim and uh, Rocky Bergman out at Kohler mm -hmm. when uh, Oostberg was over there last Tuesday, I believe it was. Well, Jim's an avid, avid basketball fan. A nice ball player, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, he was a he, star he, down at the Y, that's for he, sure. He was a hustler. Murphy from three-point right. land got it to go. 12 points for Scott. He leads all scores. Stubbe has 11. A little switch on defense. Boy. All right. Wilson went over Good to guard. D. Yeah. Good D by Wilson. And Miguel gets called for the offensive foul. That's his first. South on top by seven. Stubbe doing his best metal arc lemon uh, impersonation. Well, Hall had it, but couldn't control himself. Got it back to Miguel. His shot is no good. Zastro is going to get called for a fall. I thought he had a clean block, John. Yeah, it looked that way from here. You know, sometimes when they get banged around in there, all of a sudden somebody's got to come up with a fall. That's the bad part. For Josh Zastro, that's his fourth fall. Anthony Vaughns is going to check in. Curtis Hall is going to the line. He has not scored in the ball game. This will be his first uh, good opportunity. Yeah, he's been kind of silent the whole ball game. Not been one of his better nights, that's for sure. I'm glad to see Phelan and Murphy switch men here. There was quite a height differential there for a while. Hall comes up with his first point. It's 35-29. Uh, Red Wings on top. We're at 428 of the third quarter. Nice. Well, he should have threw the ball up there. You got to shoot it. When you're that close, you got to shoot it. <laughs> now 
That fall is being called on Curtis Hall. That's his second. You get a nice shot at Dan Koopman and some of the players on the south bench. Stuby open. A little bit short. Go right up with it. Murphy, pump fake. All right, you're going to go to the line. And they're going to get Vlasky. I thought it was Jeske that got the fall, but they're tagging it to uh, Vladimir Vlasky. And that's his third, John. Well, he's he's going to be kind of cautious now. We saw that in the first half when he picked up his yeah. second foul and Phil and had that breakaway layup. I'd like to see South go to him now at least once or twice. I mean, go go down deep. Right in there, deep to him and, and, and see what he does and maybe pick up the next quick one. And now, when you were coaching, did uh, were your kids pretty adept at doing that kind of thing? Well, we would hope so, but uh, I would always only let them do it once or twice because if you get too stereotyped at the same thing, then then your offense goes yeah, yeah. down. The whole offense changes this. Well, we shouldn't have been talking about all the way we were. He just <laughs> no. nailed the basket. It's 37-31. Well, Vaughn has that funny little elbow to well, bat the ball up on the rim. I notice Jeske is really putting the clamps on Thalen. Though. He's, at, he's all over him. Almost like a one-on-one. -on -one. Shot was uh, off, no good, and then tipped out of bounds by Manitowoc. Phelan will toss it in to Stubbe. I don't know, I think the best thing about Eric Migo's game is his uh, hairdo. Yeah. That's something right out of the 70s. You can remember that, huh? Yeah. yeah. I do too. <laughs> Even though I graduated in the late 60s. Well, Phelan got around Jeske, but the uh, pass was uh, almost picked off. When you get it in that deep, you gotta shoot it. Yeah, they're looking awfully hard to get it to Murphy, but yeah. uh, sometimes you just, you don't have any spacing. No. When the ball gets in that deep, you got five defensive ball players right in there around you, so put it up. At least you get the shot. Cray over to Hall. Lasky with a pump fake and uh, had it nice. stolen away by Stuby and they got a three on two. Oh. Hail, oh! Got it up on the rim on the reverse layup, but it wouldn't go down. Just a little too hard. Hall, another one. Yep, another one for Hall. He has five in the quarter. And TV8 is whooping him up. Phelan going hard and goes down even harder, and this time it looks like he's hurt. He hit pretty good. Wow. I'm glad we're sitting here. That fall is going to be charged to Curtis Hall, and that'll be his third. It's 37 33 south on top. That helped. Yep. I think he shot that one in a little bit of pain, John, but uh, <laughs> fought through it. He's five for five from the line. He has six points, six for six from the foul stripe. It's 39-33 with uh, 2.30 left in the quarter. South on top. Well, he had Jeske on a back cut, but uh, Phelan covered him up. Cray has it. Cray has it again and no good. Again. They're giving Manitowoc quite a few opportunities. Murphy had it blo blocked. Blasky shot. And we're going to get a foul on Manitowoc. It's going to go against Eric Migal. Coach Mark Christensen not happy with that turn of events. Boy, his team worked very hard on the offensive well, they had class. four shots. Stuby bringing it up. We're under two minutes in the third quarter. It's 39-33. You're right, Jeske has got at least three inches on Nick Phil and really making well, it he's, tough for him. He's, he's been on him tight. And he's got that arm span, you know. Yeah, exactly. Makes it tough to go around. 
A good turn of events for Sheboygan as uh, Manitowoc now has six falls. Next one will start putting the Red Wings on the line. Kalen on the turnover. Vigo going hard to the basket and got it in, and Stubbe took a swipe at him. I don't think he hit him, but uh, that's not what the referee saw. Vigo is up to 12 points, John. <clears throat> He's going to go to the board every time he hits it. Eric Migo is a 6'1 junior. And we mentioned before, Vlasky's only a junior. I see on the corner of the schedule, they got only four, four seniors here. They got a sophomore listed, but I haven't seen him in the ballgame tonight. Migo hits a free throw. It's now 39 to 36. South only up three. We're at a minute and a half left in the third quarter. You can see Wilson trying to get some spacing for the inside pass, but Lasky playing pretty good defense on Murphy. I think that defense Amigo really made a difference that time. He's not afraid to take it to the board, is he? No. I think we're going to see a lot of him in this last quarter. We're, we're seeing too much of him here in the third quarter. Yeah, I know. He's got 13.7 so far in this particular quarter. He has a chance to... Uh, he, he's pretty quick for 6-1. made six in a row and again the free throw shooting of Manitowoc has uh, kept them in the game. Lubach with the rebound. Mm -hmm. 15 out of 18 free throws for uh, Manitowoc so far in the game. Would they give that Fall of that sophomore. Houston Sprang. Yep, 5'10 sophomore. Give it to the sophomore. He just got in the game. I think they do that in the NBA too, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Rookies get Rookies get it, yeah. Well, South will be at the free throw line or be shooting the bonus the rest of the game, but they got to make them. Wilson missed Boy, that the bonus free throw. Oh, they're, they're flooding one side of the floor. He goes. Pass out to uh, Glazier, and then his shot is no good. Rebounded by Bidmisovic. We're under 30 seconds. South on top, 39-37. And uh, Manitowoc has made this game very, very interesting. Oh, sitting, gonna sit in the zone now, huh? Well, I think uh, so they're just gonna let South run it down for the last shot. Everybody gets a little bit of a break. Oh no, they're man to man. Yeah. Everybody gets a break, John, except you and me. Yeah. We gotta keep talking. Stubby with an inside shot is no good. <clears throat> His Misovic's rebound shot is off, no good, and that's the quarter at the well, end of three. It's 39-37. When we come back, uh, John Schumann will tell us what South needs to do to win this ballgame. Hey, guys, guys, check this out. They want me to register with the Selective Service. Hey, man, you 18. You got to register. It's the law. Big deal. What are they going to do if I don't register? One thing's for sure. You'll never get a government job. Or federal loans for college. And you'll never pass a background check. Because not signing up is a felony, man. Still think it's cool? And now you can register with Selective Service online at www.sss.gov. That is cool. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, 
but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, <laughs> that's the easy part. Well, Brian Andrews giving you that great shot. The South High Red Wing and a young fan and uh, Coach Manitowoc had their finest quarter of the game, scoring 15 points. On the flip side, South had their worst quarter, scoring only 10. Well, the ball isn't going in the hole right now. And that, Probably the big difference was uh, Migo. Well, yeah, that and Murphy. Uh oh And Murphy hasn't had that ball deep down there. Curtis Hall stole the inbounds pass. Wilson commits the foul. And right out of the gate, three seconds into the fourth quarter, Manitowoc is going to have an opportunity to tie up the ball game. Hall came alive in that uh, third quarter. Yes, too. he did. He was kind of dormant for the whole ball game, and then all of us we we start talking about him, and that ever since that he's been going. He now has six points, and Saul's eight-point advantage at. 37-29 is down to 39-38. They can't get off of 39. Well, they've been stuck there for quite a while. Yes, they have. And now both teams are at 39. Phelan, Wilson, Stubbe, Zastro, and Murphy, the starting lineup is in for South. A little back cut to Wilson, but he wasn't uh, close enough to the basket to shoot it. You're right, Murphy's been out on the floor quite a bit more here in the second half. Yeah, I, there you go. The Phelan looked like he had an opening, but yeah. all of a sudden Glasky was there. Yeah. Well, Pretty good like matchup with Stubbe and McGowell. They're both good. They're well, it looked like Migo was carrying that ball like Pragles and Martin were for yeah. South back. <laughs> for North back when back you were in coaching. The old days, yeah. <laughs> ball under pressure got it in. Well, a good step out by Murphy, but uh, Curtis Hall buried it. We got to get somebody to cut the momentum down right here now, right now. Murphy with a little stop and goal got the shot off and was fouled. Mm -hmm. Be nice to get him off of 39 and see what yes. they can do after that. Yeah, we've been stuck on that for a while. That went on Vladimir Vlasky, and that's his fourth foul. And uh, getting ready to check in is uh, Derek Kane. Now, once you get Vlasky out of the game, that might be. Uh, Time to start shoveling the ball inside. Hopefully, yeah. Well, I said that the whole ball game. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it down deep. Everything revolves around that center. And once you hit that center, you got defensive men looking around and everything else. Well, South has pretty good off the ball action. We saw it once yep. when uh, Murphy got it and shipped it over to uh, Wilson for an easy layup. Yeah, that's right. With 6.40 left, it's 41-41. It's like South might be in a zone of their own now. Cray trying to take it inside, but stopped. Shot All rings right. out for uh, Hall. Had a good look. Failing with it, we're at 6-10. Hey, there they go inside. Yeah. It's all right. Ooh, that 40 is not a pretty hard to move out of there. Well, Jeske dropped down and uh, applied the double team. And, uh, well, they know where the they know what, what can hurt him, so they're gonna. They've been told, I'm sure, to make sure when he gets at the double team quick. And then that's your opportunity as a center to kick it out. Oh, 
Yeah. And that's going to be number five on uh, Josh Zastrow. Legs got tangled up with Jeske. Well, we need to stop her right now. We need a big bucket here to come through. We've had we're sitting on 39, 41 for how many minutes now? Long time. It's been at least two minutes left in the uh, third quarter. And now we're 2.15 into the fourth quarter, so that's uh, well over four minutes. And we got the big kid out of there too. Huh? Aaron Jeske on the line. That makes it 42-41 Manitowoc. Ooh, All right. really short there. And they push that ball down the floor nice. 18 out of 22 free throws for Manitowoc. Failing open from outside the line, rims in and out. That's his only a second one. That I, that I can remember of. I think that's only a second shot because uh, when yeah. you get fouled on a shot, of course, that doesn't yeah. count as an attempt. Oh. Ego out the hall. No good. And we're going to get a foul on uh, Ryan Lubach. Ball will get three attempts. He's been pretty good on the line, too, hasn't he? Curtis Hall is three out of four which really doesn't stack up to the team average, which is uh, over 90%. That's kept him in the ball game. Or 89%, I should say. Ball with 10 points. Man, he didn't have anything. Didn't even uh, look like much of a player in the first half. But uh, he's been lights out second half. As Mikovic checks in. South Nall has two big guys in there, John. It's 43 40, pardon me, 44 41. Manitowoc on top. And uh, they fought all the way back from an eight point deficit in the third quarter. We could use, we could use one here now. And Murphy double teamed oh, they're, again. They're, they're really double teaming him. Well, it's like I said, they know they know where they got to go. So they're going to put put pressure on the spot that's weak. Migo has it on top. Ooh. Wilson trying to go for the quick steal commits a foul. And the way Manitowoc has been shooting their free throws, it's not a good idea to put them on the line. Yeah. And the other bad thing is. Uh, Wilson's got four falls according to the board. Yeah, you put him on the free throw line now, that gives him an easy point. And a timeout is being called by South. Right now we gotta play some mighty, mighty tough defense and not foul. We're gonna take a short break, it's a full timeout. We'll be right back. The way to go. Set our cats a moving to a side of beat. Cyber living, cyber playing, cool and sweet. There's even cyber IRS to save a little cyber stress. Get your refund in half the time. Ask your tax preparer to use IRS e file or use your own computer. Even sign electronically. 40 million people already know we files the way to go. Well, I bet. We're uh, back at South High. There you see some of the concerned fans. Go ahead, John. The uh, hall has come alive here the second half and, and had a couple buckets and helped them out quite a bit, taking some of the pressure of McGall, but we just can't get anything to fall, and right now we're, we're not even getting a shot. Twice the Red Wings got the ball down and deep to Murphy, but both times he yep. lost the ball. It's almost like they're somebody's afraid to shoot it. You got to, you know, somebody's got to put that ball up there. You got to put that pickle up there. Yeah. 20 out of 25 free throws for Manitowoc. They get 21 out of 26, and uh, the free throw line has been uh, very kind to the shipbuilders. 
They're now up 45-41. Make it 46-41. A lot of time left. We're at 440 remaining in the ball game. That three-point shot is really an equalizer. They're sitting down there in the zone, but they're going to try to keep somebody right in front of Murphy. Stubbe open from outside and gets it to go again. That'll help. That's his fourth three-pointer. He now has 14 points. And I right after the three-point basket, he picks up a foul. And I got him for four. So the two guards, Wilson and Stubbe, each have four fouls, and uh, Zastro, Josh Zastro, has already fouled out. We just can't foul now because that, that's like giving it to him on the free throw line. Make him shoot, oh, yeah. make him shoot it. Yeah. Don't give him anything for nothing. There. Oh, we. Came out of that all right. Down by only two. South an opportunity to tie or take the lead. Balen being guarded by Jeske. Well, they're playing a three-man zone on the bottom and letting two guards pick up the top men away, it looks right now. Ben Cray picks up the foul. South will go to the line. Now, Wilson was at the line just before with an opportunity to uh, get some points and uh, miss the bonus free throw. Well, that didn't look good right when you let no, go. No, no. The first one is the one you gotta get. And if you miss the second one, you got a chance for the board. Pass inside was stolen away, but there's a whistle. Ball is called on south. Admir Izmisovic picks up his second. Cray is at the line. He has not scored tonight. I would have to open up my mouth. Well, yeah. If you're going to score, it, the easiest way to do it is on the free throw line. We just got to be foul free right now. Matt Walks lead is back well, up to. Now we still uh, got a lot of time here. 48 44. There you see. Wilson almost shuffled his feet, gets it over to uh, Stubby. I'll, I'll tell you, they're, they're moving on defense. Nice. Jake Wilson with an easy two off a nice pass. A nice from, pass by Murphy. That's his second assist to uh, Wilson. Ball with a short jumper is no good, but Manitowoc gets the rebound. Murphy with a good block. block. Good block. Jeske's shot is blocked, but he's also fouled. Murphy will pick that foul up, and that'll be his third. And again, uh, Manitowoc uh, playing real tough on the offensive boards. If he came up with that rebound, that would have been the big. That would have been the big thing. Aaron Jeske's had trouble at the line, John. He's only made one out of five free throws. Well, they're, they've missed, what, three out of the last four? Yep. Oh. Got that one to roll in. Jeske, two out of six. He has six points in the game. South down three, 49-46, we're under three minutes. Murphy looking to go one-on-one -on -one with Vlasky. Well, Phelan was open for a second, but 
So Stubbe got him the ball a little late and then Phelan airmails one over the basket. I'll, I'll tell you, Jeske might not have done too much against on, on scoring tonight, but boy, he's, he's, he's been all over Phelan tonight. It's a 30-second timeout by Mark Christian and his Manitowoc ships. It's 49-46 Manitowoc. Uh, what is he telling his team, John? Well, they still got to be aggressive yet. There's two minutes and some left. That they got to go to the board down here. Both, sure. both teams are going to be in the double bonus. Yeah. Uh, Manitowoc is sitting with nine. Their next one will be ten, which uh, means Salt will be shooting two the rest of the game. South is already there, and uh, Manitowoc is, for the most part, taking big advantage of that. I, I think two, half of his speech during this, this time out is defense. Uh, Mark Christensen, he's saying, make sure, make sure you don't give them that three-point easy shot. And they've been working on defense, too. They've, they've been tough. 25 out of 32 free throws for Manitowoc. They've been at the line a lot. South has been at the line 19 times. 20 times, pardon me. Well, they're gonna make them come out now. Jeske trying to push Stubby yeah. off, no call. Uh, Lubach actually with a good foul. Committed the foul before the shot and uh, Jeske has not been uh, real steady at the line. Ryan Lubach got him, and that is his fourth foul. I think they've been on the free throw line every time they've come down the court, haven't they? Just about. Wilson, Jeske, and Stubbe all on the floor for South with four fouls. I think I said Jeske, I meant Nick Phelan. Nope, not feeling. Stubbe, Lubach, and Wilson have four falls. Jeske just made a pair. It's 51-46. Manitowoc by five. Aaron Jeske picks up a fall, and he's saying, what do you mean, me? What does he got to complain about, John? It's only a second fall. I don't know. He's... <laughs> Well, Nick Phelan's been very steady at the line, and uh, we need a couple right here. One, one more puts us right back in the ball game again. Manitowoc made some good adjustments uh, for South's inside game. Uh, they've they've uh, they've really worked on defense. They, I think that's the big key that they defensively they have been really pressuring and. And they've been covering all five men, too. And sometimes gonna, they look like they were in a three-man zone underneath. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, uh, it'll be uh, South 50, 48, Manitowoc 51. Over 10 million people provided with clean water. 240 million trees planted. Over 60 million children are in better health. 400 million meals provided. More than 950 million people helped around the world. At CARE, we can measure our success in millions, or we can simply count it on one hand. CARE, how many lives can you change today? There you see what's happening in tonight's ball game. Uh, South had as much as an eight point lead. Uh, they've lost all of that and then some. Manitowoc's biggest lead was uh, four points. Pardon me, five points, but uh, South has been able to uh, hang around in uh, anybody's ball game with just under two minutes left. I don't think Manitowoc scored a lot of baskets the last quarter, but they've been on the free throw line most of the time. They've got one basket here in the fourth quarter. They did have six in the, in the third. Well, we got a good full court press here now. We'll see what happens. 12 free throws made in the fourth quarter. That's where most of their points have come. Miguel pressuring it up hard. His shot is off, but Jeske with the rebound and Manitowoc has uh, garnered a lot of offensive rebounds in this second half. 
Cray's shot is blocked by Murphy. But he's going to get tagged with a foul, and that'll be his fourth. I think whenever you come down is that he? violently, you know, you're... you're yeah. You got to be a little bit subtle about it. Exactly. But it did look awful good. What did they score? One basket? The well, one, basket one basket here so. in the fourth quarter. And they've been on the line the rest of the time. Cray had no points through the first three quarters of play. He now has four, all of them coming from the free throw line. It's 53-48. Manitowoc equals their largest lead. We're at a minute 30 remaining in the ball game. Pass inside to Murphy is tipped away, but South regains possession. Stubbe open from outside the line as shot rims out. Wilson underneath again puts it up, but this time Velasquez commits a foul. He's persistent in there. Yeah, too bad he is not a little taller. And according to me, Velasquez now has five fouls. That could be huge. Yeah, it is five. On well, the first half when he was out, South uh, was able to uh, get the ball inside, but uh, that certainly was not the case here in the second half, so far anyway. Um, he's been outside a lot. I don't know. I don't know. That, time, that time he was in deep and he was open earlier, but he didn't get hit. I noticed that too. He's had a, actually a good post up yeah, inside. Yeah, he had a good and, uh, post up in there. Well, Wilson has had his trouble at the line. Troubles at the line. He's uh, 0 for 2. That's, and hit this one. We're back in. 53-49, 13 remaining. No. That one was bad to start with. Yeah. South comes up with the steal. Shoot it. Phelan's oh. shot is off, and we're going to get a call on Manitowoc. Curtis Hall. Got one good shooter on the line anyway. Yeah, well, Murphy missed his first two, and then he's made the last seven that he shot. Uh, Phelan has made all of his, yeah. eight of them so far. Ooh. Well, if he makes this one, we're still within three. And if he makes it, we we get the press. It's and a hope, full time out. Turnover. It's a full time out, John. We're going to take a short break, and then we'll be right back. From a trip abroad, it's nice to bring back something special for friends and family. But if you bring back something that's prohibited, like a bird or animal or animal product, you risk exposing the country to harmful microscopic organisms, like the virus that causes foot and mouth disease in livestock. So please, make sure you leave prohibited agricultural products behind and choose a gift that will never become a pest. For more information, call 1-866-SAFEGUARD. So far this quarter, Manitowoc has shot 19 free throws so far this quarter. And they've made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's only in the fourth quarter, John. Mm -hmm. For the game, they are 29 out of 37. That's a lot of times on the line. Well, and I, we, we had mentioned this before. They've only got one basket in the quarter, and uh, they only have one or two other shots. And unfortunately for the Red Wings, when they missed the shot, Manitowoc got the rebound, and I think they got fouled after that. Yeah, that's that's what's hurt. Now, no, we we need the basket to get the press. Phelan nails it. He's got nine out of ten free throws, and you're right, so all sets up the press. Oh. Here he comes. 
They just get it across the line, and Jeske gets open inside and scores. Only their second basket of the quarter. It's 55-50, we're under a minute, 40 seconds remaining. Stubbe breaks open on the line, but Miguel gets on him to prevent the three-point attempt. That's been quite a matchup between those two and, and uh, Jeske and Phelan. <laughs> And we're at 29.3 seconds left. Eric Migal is going to go to the line. Jake Wilson gets tagged with the foul. That's his fifth. And things are not looking up for the Southsiders. Well, we, uh, they got the bucket off the press. And I mean, that's, that happens quite often. That's the chance to take when you go gamble a little bit. Eric Migal will be at the line. He's got 16 points in the game. He's been letter per, pardon me, he's made uh, six out of, eight out of nine free throws so far. Fifteen out of twenty in the fourth quarter, and uh, you made a good comment, John, when you said that uh, it's not necessarily bad officiating that Manitowoc's getting all these free throws. Three-point attempt is no good. Murphy with the rebound, his shot is off, and he's fouled by Derek Kane. 21.4 seconds left. Manitowoc has their biggest lead of the game at this juncture, 57 to 50. Well, we can a uh, little trouble on the line too now. Scott had missed his first two and then he had seven in a row until that miss. Funny how this game is. Everything determined by if it goes through the net. <laughs> that sounds like the history of basketball. Yeah. <laughs> you can play a good ball game and still. They play a good ball game, but uh, Manitowoc just a little better well, we, in the second half anyway. Yeah, they. I think they stepped up their defense uh, the second I, we didn't get the shots the second half, we did the first half. I think Coach Christensen must have gotten to him at the half. Well, and if, you, know, you can talk about the defensive adjustments and, and those kinds of things, but uh, there you see Tim McMunn on the up camera, Brian Andrews on the floor camera, Kerry Coutzer in the truck spinning the dials. I'm Mike Martin along with uh, legendary South yeah. coach John Schumann. Uh, but when you talk about it, it really came down to the free throw shooting. Yeah, it did. Well, they got two buckets the whole set, whole fourth quarter. It looks like uh, Manitowoc is so confident on their ability to shoot free throws, John, are oh. pulling all their players off the line. Oh. And wouldn't you know it? It rolled right in, yeah. Nine point Manitowoc leads Stubbe with a very long three pointer and it's no good. Hall with the rebound. Migal wants two more. Dishes it off to Kane for two. That's yeah, tough now. Stubbe's shot at the buzzer is off. Well, this score is not indicative what the type of a ball game it was. We're going to take a short break and when we come back we'll have some closing comments from coach and I'll have the uh, scoring totals. This is the story about a group of kids who volunteered. Do something nice for someone. We fix stuff. Did some art projects with the kids. We fixed up his house. We worked in the woods. Cleaned up the park. Did something for the planet. We just did it. No other reason. And you know what? It was great. At first, they didn't know each other. 
Well, that didn't last long. This guy is really funny. We, the Ace, are my new friends. Are you into it? Call 4 H or check out our website at areyouintoit.com. You have to be a master of silence. You have to know where every creak is in the floor. For no other reason but fear. If she hears you or sees you, then everyone is doomed. Where have you been? If someone's drinking is affecting you, it's affecting your loved ones, too. Don't let the drinking ruin everyone else's life. Call 888-425-2666. To help them, you have to help yourself first. Don't you know my name? Breast cancer doesn't just affect women. If I saw you This year, over 40,000 women will die. The Breast Cancer Research Foundation has given over $20 million in research grants. Please, help us make a difference. Call now, 1-866-FIND-A-CURE. We're back at South High, where the Manitowoc ships have defeated Sheboygan South Red Wings 61-50. to And uh, John, it was uh, really quite a game. 11 point difference was the largest by either team. Uh, and you had mentioned it just before we went to a break that it certainly wasn't indicative of uh, the closeness of the game. No, it, it, it was a close ball game all the way. And, and had we made a couple free throws down the line, it would have been within three and, and a little bit of break on the press, we could have we've done it. Uh, South was really able to make hay in the first half going inside to Murphy. Uh, that all changed in the second half. Yeah, for some reason, uh, Murphy wasn't in the ball game the second half as, like he was the first half. He was a he was an awful threat in there at the beginning, and he got their big man in foul trouble. But the second half, he I don't know, it's a different story. He wasn't he wasn't either getting the ball or, and I always kind of think everything revolves around the center, and it helps your outside shooting and everything else. But uh, let's go through some of the scoring. Uh, I had mentioned in the first half, Manitowoc only had four people who scored. In the second half, two of those players didn't score. But uh, some other people stepped up big time. Leading all scorers for Manitowoc was Eric Migal, their uh, real fine guard. He had 17 points. Uh, chipping in with 12 was Curtis Hall. He was one of those players, John, that didn't score in the first half. He had 12 in the second, and you can attribute that to uh, us after yeah. mentioning something <laughs> yeah. about him. Another player, Aaron Jeske, only had two points in the first half, had eight in the second. He had 10. Uh, one of the kids that uh, was a force for him inside, Vladimir Vlaski, had nine in the first half, nothing in the second half, finishes the game with uh, nine points. Ben Cray had uh, six points, all of those coming in the fourth quarter. He had nothing in the first three. And Brian Lodel had five points, all on free throws in the second quarter, and that's what he ends the game with. And rounding out the scoring for the ships was Derek Kane. He had a layup off a nice pass from Eric Migal right at the end of the game. South was led by uh, their center, Scott Murphy, was 16. Tim, Tim Stubbe had 14. Nick Phelan had nine, all from the line, no baskets, John. And uh, Jake Wilson, five. Anthony Vaughns had a three-pointer for three. Uh, Zastro, Josh Zastro had two. And then Ryan Lubach had one. And uh, I think one of the key points was when I mentioned Nick Phelan, nine out of 10 from the line, but no baskets. Well, I think you gotta give an awful lot of credit to Zeski, because he was on him pretty hard the whole ball game. And it was almost like he was told that you just don't let that guy out of your sight and, and you don't give him a three. And he didn't. Uh, I think he had two two long threes, but one was rushed. But other than that, you know. Not he, many attempts. No, you're right. he, he did a pretty good job on that. And Magal, Magal was tough on defense at the uh, near the end of the ball game, too. Those he kids. really woke up with his scoring. Yeah, he the, did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Our next broadcast is going to be on Wednesday, January 29th, when Concordia with uh, Nick Leipom, former uh, Lutheran High School basketball player, uh, will be at Lakeland, Lakeland men. So February 29th, Concordia at Lakeland. You can look for TV8. Uh, I want to thank the crew for the great job they did. Uh, John, again, thanks a lot for uh, stepping in. Uh, you're a great guy to have around. It was around. a pleasure. Yeah, it was a great mm -hmm. having you. Ho hopefully we can get together yeah. again. Okay. Again, our final score, Manitowoc 61, South 50. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you down the road.